everybody, this is Beer Coaster Toby from BeerCoastersPodcast.com. Welcome to the Backyard Beer Tastings. Today for the beer I would like to try is Brasserie St. James and their Red-Headed Stranger. So this is from Brasserie St. James out of Reno, Nevada. I believe they've been brewing since 2012. Their website is BrasserieStJames.com. So this is a red farmhouse ale um, brewed with Brasserie St. James's signature Belgian yeast strain. Uh, they also brew it with, uh, it says on the bottle, it's um, ale brewed with spices, and those spices would be coriander, orange peel, grains of paradise, uh, blend of green and black peppercorn, which is kind of your typical uh added spices I guess you throw into any kind of Belgian style beer so um, what gives it a, uh, a red I'm not sure I guess it's a it's a cross between a red ale and a saison somehow with those added spices I'm not sure they also use water from an artesian well which is located directly below the brew house so enough talking let's crack it Ooh. Red Farmhouse. So as you can see, plenty of head there. Yeah, I got about these almost two Yeti fingers ahead. And yeah, it's a it's a nice red in color. It's a uh, kind of a coppery red, so it's red with a little bit of copperness to it. Head is uh, off white. That plane is going directly over the house. But hey, that's what you get when you're beer tasting in the backyard, right? On your iPhone. So let's check out the nose. Ooh, I get uh, I get grassiness. I get that kind of kind of really sticky doughy breadiness in the background. There's some citrus in there. I think I'm getting picking up on the coriander a little bit. Kind of has a little bit of a zest. Yeah, really malt forward. Get lots of uh, maltiness, bready. Some sweetness, kind of like a honey or a, possibly a honeysuckle. Hmm. All right, I'm taking a sip. Cheers. Getting uh, some wild characters in there. Getting a little bit of a um, little bit of, of bandaidiness. Uh, it finishes pretty dry, and there's a kind of a bitter a bitterness on the tip of the tongue. Get some sweetness in there. It's more of like a grainy, malty sweetness. Yeah, it definitely has those kind of wild characteristics. You know, a little bit of sour. Um, yeah, and the aftertaste. <clears throat> yeah, the that kind of band-aidy, sour astringency is hanging out interesting there's even dirtiness to it too it's different from the nose because the nose makes you think it's going to be a little bit more sweeter than it is but it's it's more on the um, bitter side dry bitter stringent very interesting yeah, it's, it's not, um, it finishes pretty, pretty clean. It's, you're not left over with too much of a, of a, you know, big mouthfeel or as far as like, um, big maltiness left over. It's more of a, yeah, that dry, bitter astringency.
I mean, I, I kind of, I like it in, in the fact that it's, it's different. There's really nothing offensive about it. I do like that it's, that it's different and interesting. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And for a rating, <clears throat> typically what we do on Beer Coasters Podcast is we do five pints. So out of, out of five pints, I would give this, I give it a three and a half. Um, it's, it's good. I don't know what I would want more out of this. I think I would like a little bit more sweetness and, and being a, a farmhouse, I would want a little bit more of the kind of zesty or like lemongrass, that kind of stuff, which is what I typically enjoy out of those style of beers. But with this, it's, it's nice. It's different. Um, I guess I'll give it that. I mean, it's great for, uh, for being, for being somewhat different but uh yeah overall it's not it's not bad i i recommend checking it out um i had some of their stuff they mostly do belgian styles i believe and i did have some of their stuff at a beer festival in las vegas uh when was that it was a couple of years ago now maybe it was in um 2000 i think it was like a year ago year and a half anyway i met the people from from brasserie st james really nice people and uh yeah, I mean Reno, Nevada. Um, I I this is not available in San Diego. Um, my wife brought it back from from Las Vegas a few months ago, when she went to visit. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. Brasserie St. James, BrasserieStJames.com is their website. BeerCoastersPodcast.com is my website. Uh, check me out on uh, Twitter at BeerCoasterToby. Make sure you follow the Beer Coasters podcast as well on Twitter and check us out on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up. You leave us some comments. Tell us what you think of this new segment that I've been doing and, uh, you know, encourage me to do more. So, cheers. <laughs>